Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to reveal the top five who will continue on the path to becoming the next Miss Ilogos Norte. And without making you wait any further, here we go. First up, congratulations to Vintar! Next one joining our top five is King Ras. <laughs> Moving forward, also in our top five, Solsona. <laughs> and in the fourth spot, let's call on Batak City. And rounding out our top five, the good board! And with that, congratulations to all of our top five. The whole place is heating up. The moment our finalists are about to tackle and they will respond to a question posed by none other than Miss World 2013, Megan Young. The chairperson of the judges, she will be asking the question to our top five finalists. We will see their poise and eloquence in this defining moment. Ladies and gents, welcome to the final round of Miss Ilocos Norte 2024. And we begin. We will start with our first finalist, Vintar. Megan, take it away. Thank you, Mikael. Good evening, Miss Megan Young. Good evening. Your final question is, in Ilocano culture, the virtue of Panaki Pagrikna or empathy is fast becoming an important aspect in management, business, and design. How can you best embody and teach empathy to the Ilocano youth? Good evening, everyone. Thank you for that question. I would, I would encourage the youth to, to get into I would encourage the youth to be empathetic by inspiring them and empowering them because I believe being empathetic is one of the most important things an Ilocano woman should possess. And if I, and if, and if I your, miss, your future Miss Ilocano... Thank you very much. Give it up for Vintar. Let's call in our next finalist, Ding Ras. And as we wait for our next finalist, Ding Ras, I would like to remind everyone and the finalists that they will have 30 seconds to answer the question posed by Miss World 2013, Megan Young. And as we wait for Ding Ras, I would like to advise everyone our finalists are coming from the holding area behind our venue so as to not hear the question being asked. But here, we have Ding Ras. Megan, please take it away. Hi, Ding Ras. Good evening. Good evening, ma'am. 
Your final question is, in Ilocano culture, the virtue of panaki, pagrikna, or empathy is fast becoming an important aspect in management, business, and design. How can you best embody and teach empathy to the Ilocano youth? As a beauty queen and as a student leader myself, I've always wanted to embody empathy. First of all, um, in order for me to be able to overcome the challenges and struggles of my life and for me to be able to really feel or understand what people feel, I believe I will be able to make such great solutions for them to be able for me to be able to really uplift their lives and also give them the best in which I could offer. As a beauty queen, I believe empathy is one of the best things I could ever possess because this way, I will be able to show what I can offer to them. Thank you. Thank you very much. Give it up for Ding Ras. And we move on. We have three finalists left. Let's call on Solsona. And as Osana makes her way to the stage, I would like to thank everyone for maintaining their silence during these pressure-packed moments of our candidates. And once again, it is important for me to note that our candidates will have only 30 seconds to answer the question posed by Megan Young and to eventually and hopefully up their chances of becoming Miss Ilocos Norte 2024. Once again, let's call on Solsona. Megan? Hi, Solsona. Good evening. Hello, Miss Megan. Good evening. All right, here's your question. In Ilocano culture, the virtue of panaki pagrikna or empathy is fast becoming an important aspect in management, business, and design. How can you best embody and teach empathy to the Ilocano youth? Thank you so much, Ms. Megan. So I can, as an Ilocana and as a Ms. Ilocas Norte aspirant, I can embody empathy by empowering my fellow youth. And also, I am a Sangri Angkataan chairperson of our barangay. And with that, I can use my voice and platform to empathize with them, to put my situation in them in order for me to know um, what actions should I address or what actions should I do in order to help them, in order to foster positivity, and in order to help my fellow youth. Thank you so much. Ladies and gents, Solsona. We have two candidates left. Let's call on Batak City. Ladies and gents, Batak City! Megan? Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. All right, here's your final question. In Ilocano culture, the virtue of Panaki pagrikna or empathy is fast becoming an important aspect in management, business, and design. How can you best embody and teach empathy to the Ilocano youth? I grew up having my mother on my side because she had to be in abroad to sustain my life and my siblings. There were countless times that I was sad and scared because she wasn't here. That, that is why I choose to donate my time and effort to the children. Because each child may desire something that may have been equal to what I had desired. Being empathetic is not just being, it's not just about ourselves, but knowing another's suffering 
and letting them know our respect and much love for them. And there you have it, Batak City. Thank you so much. Eto na, we are rounding out our top five Q&A. I would like to call on Pagod Pod. And as a final reminder, once again, our candidates are given 30 seconds to answer the question posed by Miss World 2013, Megan Young. We proceed to the last candidate in our top five. We have Pagod Pod. Megan? Hi, good evening. Good evening. All right, here's your final question. In Ilocano culture, the virtue of panaki pagrikna or empathy is fast becoming an important aspect in management, business, and design. How can you best embody and teach empathy to the Ilocano youth? Great question. I think the solution predominantly relies on advocacy, liaising with the local government, and empowering our young education, ensuring that empathy is in everyday practice and in everything we do. I always promise to lead from the heart and follow my faith in God. Thank you. Ladies and gents, Pagod Pod! All right, thank you very much as well to the chairperson of the judges, Megan Young. Thank you. And with that, we conclude this search because now our judges will deliberate and determine who will be crowned Miss Elogos Norte 2024.